Hello there, this is Harry Du from MicroStrategy. In today's video, I want to show you how to make any REST API calls from MicroStrategy's Mysterio Pi using the connection object. In MicroStrategy Mysterio Pi, uh, we create a lot of uh, Python native class to wrap around our workflows and REST APIs. In case if there's no wrapper in Mysterio Pi, you can still make REST API calls in MicroStrategy Mysteria and using the connection object very conveniently. And I'll show you how to do it. We're going to include this uh, class, connection class. I'm going to create a connection, connect to MicroStrategy's tutorial um, project on the demo environment. So if you inspect the connection object, you can see there's a base URL, there's a token, there's also a session object right so this is a request session object so when we when you log in so we automatically save the auth token in the session object so this this session object will be used when you make a call through the connection objects so in this connection object we have a a, a wrapper around the connection object a session a session objects call you see when you make a connection dot get call right when you make a connection dot get call we are actually wrap around with the session. We're going to delegate this to the session object dot get. So whatever parameter you use for the session object, you can use it on the connection dot similar method, same method here. So on the session object, if you look at uh, some uh, W3 documentation on the session object, you can call um, get delete post put right request you can also make the same call in macraji connection object so you can call connection.get connect.post and it will wrap around of this call so let's try so we're going to try to use this call connection.get passing this url base url is this and slash the status this is to just to fetch the server status okay so it returns the json of course, it's not going to return the uh, native Python class. It just return a JSON and response will have the JSON. If you call the JSON function, it will return, it will convert this into a, a dictionary or list, right? So this is a JSON, uh, it's a Python dictionary. If you try to see the type, you see uh, it's a dictionary, right? It's a dictionary. So, same thing, you can do a post, you can do a post call. So just do connection.post and passing the URL. If you need any body, any parameter, you can use the same, same parameter as you use in the um, session request, uh, request object, like session.post. Uh, so if we try to make this call, this will create a report instance and returns the JSON right, dictionary. So this is the data. And same thing for, this is for, yeah. So we can check the instance ID created. So this is to, uh, this is the put call. If you try to use the put call, this is to try to run the create a report instance with some sort logic here, right? So we can we can pass the payload. Payload will be uh we can pass the payload is a string and we convert this into JSON uh, and uh, then we pass the JSON body, right? So you see here. So basically uh for any REST API call we exposed right in the REST API you can use connection object to make the call if we don't have a Python uh, wrapper. You don't need to manage the session. So the connection object automatically manage the session for you. All right, uh, thank you. I'll see you in the next video, bye.